It's your boy Chris here back in the video editing studio. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add keyframes in CapCut PC. I repeat, I'm going to show you how to add keyframes in CapCut PC. So step number one, go over to CapCut, obviously, right? And keyframes are most used, most widely used to do like zoom ins, fade ins, fade outs, etc. And keyframes are essentially CapCut's way of like telling you where certain sections of what needs to happen, right? So by doing this, I'm going to show you how to do a fade in because this is one of the most common, a fade in, fade out, zoom in. So first, uh, make sure your video is in the editing timeline down here at the bottom and make sure the video is highlighted, right? So click on it, see how it's highlighted. And this scroller here, this is, you need to click and drop and drag. This is where you're going to be adding keyframes. So you need to make sure that you have it where you want the keyframes to be added. So most commonly with a, with a fade in, we will have this at the beginning, right? Because you commonly fade in at the beginning of the video. So first have it at the beginning and then go over to the right hand side here. And what we want to do here is click on the video tab and then go down to blend. Make sure this is checked. And again, this is just for a fade in. You could do a zoom in. It's entirely different. But th for this example, this is how you add keyframes for like a fade in. So this is um, these little diamonds to the right here. This is where you add keyframes, these little diamonds, see? And for a fade in, it's right here and it's in the blend section. So if I click here, add keyframe. So then it added a little diamond here at the beginning of the video. Let's zoom in on the editor a little bit. See it right there if I move the scroller and it's right there. That's at the beginning. So for that keyframe, I need to tell it what I want it to do. I want it to be opacity zero because this is a fade in, remember? So I want it to be black. So then what I want to do here is I want to click and drop and drag the cursor to where I want the location where I want it to fade in essentially, right? Or finish the opacity fade in. Let's do right here. Let's do a little longer just to give you guys an example of what it looks like. And then I go back over to the blend section. I click that diamond again to add a keyframe. And then what I want to do is I want to tell it what to do. So I change the opacity to 100%. And this folks is how we create a fade in. So if I click play in the video, See, that's a fade in and it looks beautiful, right? And again, this is how you add keyframes in CapCut PC. Hopefully this video helped you. Hit me up in the comments if you have any questions. Please consider subscribing. How to add keyframes in CapCut PC. Peace out, guys.